I'm Dr Neil Gosling, I'm a lecturer in evolution and paleobiology at the University of Southampton. We have several bones from what is probably the largest terrestrial predator that Europe has ever seen, a spinosaurid theropod dinosaur. The spinosaurids are a fascinating group of dinosaurs. They have the normal body of a theropod, so a bipedal predatory animal, big claws on its hands. But unlike other dinosaurs like T-Rex or Velociraptor, which have short boxy skulls, they have much longer elongate snouts with teeth that are much more like crocodiles and we know that that fish makes up an important part of their diet. What is unusual for spinosaurs is that fish seems to be a large component of their diet and we know this from calcium isotopes in their bones that show that they're getting uh, their food from both terrestrial and aquatic sources. We have a handful of bones. We have a thoracic dorsal vertebra, we have a very large vertebra from early in the series in the tail, we have a, a nice fused set of sacral vertebrae. We've also got some other bits of ilium and potentially long bones which show some interesting borings and, 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 and so, so that this, this animal was actually, after it had died, appears to have been nibbled on by some beetles. So it, we don't have a huge amount, but what we have is enough to show that we have a spinosaurid. Like all of the dinosaurs that I've worked on, it was found at the, in the, on the Isle of Wight, which is the best locality in the whole of Europe for finding dinosaur fossils. Chances of getting more bones were always hopeful. These were found a few years ago now. We're still looking. Collaborators are on the beaches every other day. So if anything turns up, we hope, hopefully we'll find it. The thing that we really want is a skull. The skull would really help us to identify whether, which group of spinos within the spinosaurids this, this, this animal is from. The specimen was found by a co-author, Jeremy Lockwood, but also by Nick Chase, who sadly passed away a, a short while ago, but was a very important collector on the island and made some really important discoveries. But also one of the things I'm very proud of, uh, the work was led by my PhD student, Chris Barker, who's done a fantastic job pulling out uh, and identifying the fact that this animal is, uh, is a spinosaur. But we included three undergraduates as well, and they, they did some lovely work over the summer last year, and they are also authors on this paper.